pretty good song, huh? My college professor, Sasson professor, be yelling at me right now because it's not songs, they're pieces. Songs have lyrics. I used to, it's an old habit, I can't break it. Hey, how about a hand for our multi talented, multi faceted, incredible PAC manager and technical director, Mr. John Gino, for making us look and sound amazing. He only works about 120 hours a week, that's it. All for us. Need to get that guy some help. Um, also, John Saul Cedar is on sound this evening. Thank you very much, John. We want to remind everybody that this Saturday we are having our first annual mattress sale right here in our PAC lobby. Perhaps you've seen a sign or two around town. I hope you have. We still have. We still have more to put up, actually. Um, so you may think this sounds a little crazy, and I'll admit, I was the first time I heard of it was not our sale. It was actually a couple of years ago when I saw some other big name programs that I know of doing a mattress sale. We did some research and we found out, hey, they made a lot of money doing a mattress sale. So we decided that no one in this market had done that, so we jumped on the opportunity. So we're going to do it. We're trying to get, you know. Revenue from outside sources, not just our band families. I mean, if you need to buy a mattress, please come buy a mattress. Where the Beckman family may buy a mattress. Um, probably for me to go into a different room because I snore so much. But um, they're high end. They are name brand beauty rest. They're just we're just taking out the middleman. There's factory direct, and so you're able to save a lot of money. So. Even if you're not buying a mattress, help us spread the word, please. This could be a really big one for us. That'd be awesome. Um, also, coming up on Monday, we have our Music Awards Ceremony, which is also the Triumph Induction Ceremony. So if you have a freshman or a sophomore or a junior, someone who hasn't been in Triumph before, and they were accepted into membership into that organization, they should be here on Monday so that they can officially be, what do you call it, inducted, thank you. Um, wanted to say hi to Sammy Schneider, she's in the house tonight, it's awesome that she's able to come for our concert. We love you, Sammy. And we want to recognize Mitch Tobiak, he arranged all the music for the Win Ensemble percussion piece that they did. That was a pretty cool piece. So I'll be for it. <laughs> All right, now we come to the hard part. The Beckman always cries at this part, but let me tell you something. I've been thinking of awful things all day. <laughs> I've been thinking of terrible, terrible things and moments in my life that I just don't want to remember. I'm just going to think about those things. It's going to get me through this part, right? Do you believe me? No. <laughs> okay, happy thoughts. All right, before we do this whole senior thing, it is not the seniors who are performing their last concert with us this evening. We have another, another person here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, it was... Seven short years ago that this brave young lady from four states away applied for a job in a town she had never been to before to work with a guy that she had never met before. And she probably had no idea what she was in for, to be honest. Um, and fast forward six years later, and it's just unbelievable the impact that one person can have on so many people. Um, she's been a mother to a lot of our kids. She has been an amazing colleague from her 
incredible musical insight to her unbelievable type A, organized, photographic memory, um, keep me in mind, awesome colleague, to her infectious laugh. Um, I've learned so much from her, and she will be greatly, greatly, greatly missed. And, you know, the older I get, the more I think I've felt and I've learned everything uh, there is to learn. And I keep getting surprised. And there was, there was a new feeling that I really never felt before that, that I've had to experience really recently. And there's a song, it's a song that I think kind of encapsulates what I'm trying to... John, could you... <laughs> you guys Sting fans in the house? If you love someone, except you. Um, you know, when I found out Jennifer was leaving us, I was really upset. And, and I just thought about how much of a loss it was for our kids and how much of a loss it would be for, for me and for the city. And I had a really rough weekend, and then it finally kind of hit me on Sunday. You know, if you love someone, you have to set them free, and I know she's going to have an amazing career ahead of her, and we absolutely wish her the best. And this is not the last we've heard from Ms. Jennifer Olis. How about a round of applause for my fabulous colleague? Notice the color of the flowers. Thought they matched her hair. <laughs> and then this card says WW, you know what that's for? No, it's for work wife. <laughs> because she's become my work wife. Oftentimes I'll be like, oh I gotta remember like some like family thing, and I'll start like dialing Jen's number. And I'll be like, Oh, she's not my wife, that's right. <laughs> she's my work wife. Can you, the card is really fun. Can you open the card? Of fire? <laughs> so, hold on. There's no cards like that are made for, hey, sorry you're leaving this awesome job. Wish you well. So, the closest thing I could come to is, she's graduating high school, really. She's getting out of high school for the second time. And, and I, we raised chickens at our house. So, I got her a, a chicken card that says, you're graduating, question mark? It's chickens. Sing the graduation song. And then it says something that I'm not going to say over a microphone in case any of my administrators are, are in the building. It's really funny though. It actually is. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, that's for Jen. Love you, Jen. Okay, at this time, we'd like to recognize all our seniors for their incredible contributions the last four years. We are so lucky. We are the luckiest teachers in, in the whole world in that we get our kids for four years. We get to see them come in here, little squirts, they don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> They're looking around, you know, the PAC and our humongous marching band. And, you know, they don't play a note the whole first year of the marching show. <laughs> Like, you didn't know I was playing, well, you played clarinet, the clarinet, it was this 
far away from the bar. I'm pretty sure I knew that you weren't playing at all. And they go from that, and so this, this artistry, this mastery that you heard this evening, it's just, it's the greatest, it's the greatest thing in the world. I am the happiest, luckiest person to, to get to do this every, every year, my whole life, and that's why I get so emotional about this. Because uh, they really become family. They're, they're your kids, they're my kids, they're her kids, they're our kids. And we raise them together and we love them together. So that's why it's so hard. I don't care if you make fun of me that I cry. Who I do. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let Jen talk. She's gonna I can never announce their name, so I'm just gonna hug them and shake them in the glass. Hello. Hi. I'm going as far over as I can because there are fifty-five seniors this year. Yeah, this is a huge class, and uh, I was, I, I never did things off the cuff until I met Jamie Beckman. So, like my first couple years here, I would get up and I would have at least written out what I'm going to say before I would get up in front of the microphone. But his outstanding influence has taught me to become a little more free. And so, I don't always write down now what I say, which can be a bad thing and a good thing. Um, but I decided for this I should actually think about it beforehand, um, because we're talking about such wonderful people who have been in our program for four years and are just incredible human beings and incredible musicians, and we are going to miss them greatly. So I was thinking, um, I do a lot of thinking in the car, because I have a decent sized commute, so and all my best thoughts either come in the car or the shower. So I'm sure it's very similar for a lot of you. Um, but just as, as Jamie said, if there's one word that you can think of for, for band, for band class, for this, what this is, it's family. It has to be family. Um, you know, four years, that's a long time together. And you not only see the best of each other, but you also can see the worst of each other. And we certainly have learned to put up with each other's idiosyncrasies and laugh together and love music together and just appreciate one another and appreciate everything that we have and that we've created. Um, I just think about all of the kids who might not have anything else that they love to do. And that's not everybody in this program. But for a lot of kids, this is the one thing that really keeps them going. And I know that may sound pretty cliche, um, but I've had many, many conversations with many, many kids in our program, in, in our office, and in the, during lunchtime, and um, after school, you know, this is a place where kids come for advice, they come just to talk, um, and obviously they come to make music. So I hope that our impact on them has been much greater than just the black notes on the page. Um, I hope our impact will carry them through um, not only college, but through the rest of their lives. And I hope that this graduating class, as I hope for every graduating class, never lets music go. Um, and I, we're not asking for every kid to play for years and years and years after high school, although that would be fantastic. So everybody should try to find a place to play in college or, or beyond. But I do hope that these kids will take music with them and infect everyone else with what they've experienced in high school so that they may feel just a little piece of what they got to experience over these four years. <laughs> so with that, I would like to introduce the 55 seniors of the class of 2015. Mr. Declan Alberti, Gabriella Anderson, Luke Arndt, Ryan Biscavich, Nevina Barich, Zach Byer, Evan Borcher, Alex Brown.
Breaker. Don Carpenter. Tom Chapman, belovedly known as Chappy. <laughs> Jacob Cooey. Megan Dotsa. Mitchell Dewald. Michelle Demansky. Carly Fitzgerald. Sarah Gelly. Maggie Gerkhart. Eric Hazer. Stephanie Hyde. Elaine Hike. Kyle Iverson. Ethan Kern. Wyatt Class. Jacob Cook. Jerrica Katarik. Lauren Longhenry. Brett Mahoney. Morgan Merrick. Shelly Marcellet. Alex May. Henry McNally. Claudia Moen. Izzy Moraz. Max Mullen. Nick Nelson. Carly Oding. Holly Peckerel. Taylor Phillips. Alex Ponteri. Jessica Portick. <coughs> Justin Rubio. Jenna Schneider. Tom Schneider. Sam Schwager. Jeremiah Sprengel. Nick Staniszewski. Unable to be with us tonight, but has been in our program, um, is Maddie Stenzel. Eric Thompson. Mitchell Toboyek. Gabby Tulsa. <coughs> Willa Tao. Taylor Van Zeeland. Justin Bulmer. Brian Webb, and last but certainly not least, Renee Worcester. Please give a huge round of applause for the last Sam Schwager, uh, senior obviously here. Uh, I'd like to say a few words about uh, band in general. I'm going to start with a story. 